As he's leaving, Trish says, hold on a second, one more thing. Fourth of July is around the corner. Are you coming to the cookout? And the place goes nuts. I guess they have a local cookout at the performance center for the fans. Brian, Brian and Vinnie, along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. There have been so many matches put together at, like, the last minute. I'm sorry, but Butcher and Penta cannot put a match together at the last minute. That's clear. The first thing a bunch of shitheads did was they took a animated gif of this botched head scissors, and they put it on the internet to laugh at it. Sure. And, uh, you know, people have done that to me, that one, uh, the Jungle Boy match where I, I was kind of walking as I hit the ropes because we were going to do a spot or whatever. If somebody had a camera and, and they found a moment in every day of your life that you looked stupid and they put it on the internet, I mean, we'd have, I mean, it would be ridiculous. But no, you know, these guys are on TV. We got we to gotta find one bad spot in an otherwise also bad match. But still, See, I was gonna say, the this- point <laughs> is, the point is, this isn't nice. Don't be a shithead. We open with Claudio Castagnoli and Wheeler Yuta versus FTR. Or, as I saw it described online, Bald and Wheeler versus Bald and Wheeler. Huh. Somebody on the board decided to start a thread called Tony Storm Mariah May Mina Shirakawa Storyline. Who in this storyline would you say is manipulating who? Mina is manipulating the two of them. Both of them? Yes. I think it's uh, Mariah May that is uh, trying to pull one over on Tony. You think Mariah is trying to pull one over on Tony? I think Tony is clearly manipulating Mariah May. Oh boy! <laughs> I was I was ac- I was accused opinions. of like being out to lunch because I didn't think they were doing a good job with his storyline. And literally on this show, we have three people, and all three of us think somebody else is the manipulator in this storyline. Yeah, very interesting. Hmm. Granny, what's happening? I want to know how come my nose is white. You've got a very bright light shining right on your pale face. <laughs> Better? Mm, a little bit. Why don't we start reading some questions <laughs> and we'll see if we can spur some answers out of Granny. Shall we try? I don't think so. Let's try. <laughs> then then you'll really find out how dumb I am. Granny, did you know there was a resting bear? I uh, know. <laughs> and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's a bear that wrestled people. I still don't care. Okay. What is your favorite breakfast cereal of all time? What's your favorite cereal, Granny? You know what cereal is? I can't eat it. Fruit Islands, S'mores Crunch, Rocky Road, Original Recipe, Cookie Crisp, and of course all the video game inspired cereals like Super Mario and and Donkey Kong, and there's a Nerds cereal, cereal that tasted like candy. There's two bags inside the box, and one was grape and one was cherry. Oh, it was great. Dunkin' Donuts had next to the cereal for a while. These are all gone. These are all gone. What is your least favorite pizza brand? Little Caesars. The answer is Little Caesars. There used to be a great, great pizza throughout the Northwest called Pietro's Pizza. Every memory of yours is about something from the deep past that your sad is no longer around. Yeah. Yeah, they could be my favorite food. Just go to Mod Pizza and love it. This sounds good. Is Granny frozen? Granny, you frozen? No, I'm ready to read my report. Your picture is frozen. It is? Yeah. Or you're doing a great job as a ventriloquist. Wrestling, Jay Uso versus <laughs> Dominic. We also can't find any record of Jay Uso and Dominic having a singles match together. Oh, I saw it. Don't give me that crap. <laughs> I don't care. Brian. Google, Google it. I'm not on anymore. No, you're on. We're watching no. you. I can't see it. Oh, gee. Come on, Jared. <laughs> yeah, Jared. Golly. Steinemite show was the best one in months. Great show. And then it, uh, you know. No one saw it. Had a rough time in the numbers, in mm. the ratings. Yeah. It did barely beat NXT in 18 to 49, but it did win. Although NXT did have more viewers. But, uh, you know, NXT is on the rise. People are in NXT. It's got the biggest year-over-year growth of any wrestling show. But I thought this was a very good Dynamite, and hopefully they can keep this up. Because this Dynamite felt like a Dynamite from year one. Hmm. 
as opposed to a dynamite from the last year and a half or so. Swerve and Prince Nana come out for a promo, and Taz and Tony Schiavone are criticizing Nana for letting his pants sag below his britches. Can you believe somebody would be so unfamiliar with African-American culture? It's ridiculous. And what I think they should do is they both end up with four people on the team, at which point we have the return of Hangman Page. Hey, hey. And the big question will be, whose team will he be on? And then it's Mark Briscoe's turn. Why is this guy not on every show? It's a great question. Promo's awesome. Kyle just is wide-eyed. He cannot contain his mirth. And Willow's there. She's laughing. Orange is trying so hard not to crack. This is Mark Briscoe. This was like the best promo on the show by Miles. MGF versus Roosh will kick off the show next week. Commercial free. They are not doing it on the pay-per-view. We were talking about Phoenix and the and the CMLL guys being on the same show. And how uh, Tony Khan apparently had said it all been worked out. It hasn't. Hmm. Apparently it's going to be on a case-by-case basis. Roosh has an incredible amount of heat with CMLL because of how he left and went to AAA. Here was a surprise. A Shingo Takagi video package. Yes, we got a Shingo Takagi video package to announce that he's in the Owen Hart Cup. Yes. And instead of just throwing up a bracket with his name on it. Yeah. They showed us who he was. I thought it over-delivered compared to my expectations. I thought this would be a Styles Clash. It was. Aside from the head scissors and a couple of others in the finish, because her finish never looks good, I thought this was pretty good. My wife, of course, comes home at this point right in the middle of the show and walks in, and she looks at Ziuxi's gear and says, and I quote, Oh my God, ass! This is exactly the point where my wife had come Oh, she saw show. Mina? There's Mina Shirakawa shaking her boobs everywhere. Yeah, she's and, a boob shaker. And my wife is just staring at the screen. And then there, there, she, uh, there's these two women smooching and holding hands. And yeah, this is what I'm watching, dear. This is what, what I'm, when you're not home, this is the kind of stuff I have on TV. That's true, yes. So I was eating some corn backstage, guys. From right here in Des Moines, I know a little about farming. You need a pH level of 6 to 6.8 in your soil. This is about a 7. That doesn't work for me, brother. How in God's name could people hate this segment? Well, Will Ospreay versus Ray Phoenix. What a match. Did not take notes except during commercials. I did not want to blink for fear I'm missing this television set. It was the correct decision. Everything was worth watching every single second of this. Wesley, Tyler Bate, and Pete Dunn versus Gallus. Match is fucking great. Oh, it's an awesome match. The place is going nuts. And then fucking Joe Coffee pins Wesley. And I just I just screamed at my TV like, what the fuck was that? Remember when Triple H ran NXT and he had all of the best talent? You know, they had all these amazing Nakamuras and Asukas. And, and, but he, he just kept pushing the forgotten fucking sons. Yes, do you remember this? I do. Now, and yes, we were yes. watching and going, why in the fuck do you keep putting over the forgotten sons? It's the exact same thing with Gallus. She's a fucking zombie now, I guess. I don't, I don't know much about zombies. But she's got her face painted up. She's spooky. Still comes out with a fucking body pillow, though. I'm like, life's a lot easier for zombies nowadays. <laughs> so here's his question. You are giving a state of the women's division address tonight. What will that entail? Well, Byron, she's going to address the state of the women's division. Robert Stone walks up, asks the exact same question. What will you be talking about tonight? The state of the fucking women's division. Why is this so hard? Booker T shouting along to Trick's music is great. Booker T singing along to Cody Rhodes' music is equally great, but in a totally different way. I've known you a long time. I don't think I've... You're not proud of what happened in the past couple days. As he's leaving, Trick says, hold on a second, one more thing. Fourth of July is around the corner. Are you coming to the cookout? And the place goes nuts. I guess they have a local cookout at the performance center for the fans. You know what some guy actually said to me? Tell, me? tell me. He goes, I can't believe that Brian said that. He should have asked a black friend what that meant. If I didn't know what it fucking meant, how am I supposed to know to ask anybody what it meant? Yes, yes. Like, Listen. what the fuck did you expect me to do? I thought he was inviting him to a fucking cookout. Yes. I'm happy to say that after this incident, few friendly people did invite me to their cookout. Excellent. You are a bigger dork than me and always have been and always will be. Oh, stop. Get out of here, you idiot. So Cody's going to the cookout. 